the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 210, Jeremiah 26 to 28. Jeremiah's rope and yoke performance. Although false prophets preached the message of restoration without a hardship, this was a false prophecy that brought God's judgment. First point, God told Jeremiah to deliver his message inside the Jerusalem temple. The sermon in Jeremiah chapter 26 is the same as the content in Jeremiah chapter 7. Jeremiah's message about the temple can be found in Jeremiah 26 verses 3 to 6. This was Jeremiah rebuking the people for coming to the temple of Jerusalem but not doing as they were told by the laws. Thus, Jeremiah declared that the temple would become like Shiloh. Shiloh was a place where the people of Israel went after conquering Canaan in order to keep their annual festivals. But during the time of priest Eli, the ark was taken from Shiloh. And Shiloh was located in those Israel, which was destroyed. As such, those who did not keep God's words were to fall, just like the previous people who fell for the same reason. The religious leaders and the people showed a different response. The leaders of the temple and the false prophets and some of the people wanted to kill Jeremiah. Here, Jeremiah proclaimed that he was sent by God and that they were to depart. On the other hand, some political leaders believed that Jeremiah was sent by God and claimed that they should save him. A few of the elders came and helped Jeremiah. They tried to prove that Jeremiah was right through the record of Micah in 8th century BC. This was indeed a dangerous situation and Jeremiah could have died. Before Jeremiah, the prophet Uriah was put to death whilst delivering God's message. As Uriah died, Jeremiah could also have been put to death. Second point, Jeremiah started his performance with the rope and yoke in front of King Zedekiah who hosted the meeting for the alliance between the six countries. When Babylon grew extremely strong, Zedekiah gathered the representatives of five surrounding countries and opened an assembly. God sent Jeremiah to this assembly in Jerusalem. The countries to come were Edom, Moab, Ammon, Tyre, and Sidon. The objective of this assembly was Babylon and their growing power. The chair of this assembly was Zedekiah. Zedekiah gave a talk about how South Judah, 150 years ago during the reign of Hezekiah, managed to ward off the Assyrians whilst killing 185,000 of the Assyrian army. Zedekiah proposed that the countries come together to create a similar outcome. Zedekiah was in place of his nephew, Jehoiachin, who was taken to Babylon and he was ruling at a time of great turmoil. As Zedekiah had a reputation among the people of South Judah that he was made king by the Babylonians. He had ambitions to change his reputation into a wise and helpful king by learning this international assembly. It was here that Jeremiah came in uninvited with a rope and a yoke. He walked in completely uninvited and started to deliver God's message. Jeremiah first showed the rope and explained that God's measurements had already finished and so they would be taken to Babylon. Second, he showed the yoke and persuaded them to suffer the wooden yoke rather than the iron yoke. 
The people who attended this meeting were to go and deliver God's message to their countries. This was a warning that Nebuchadnezzar would burden all of them with yokes. Jeremiah's message made everyone feel completely uncomfortable. Because of him, the assembly was put to a cross, and Zedekiah's leadership also dissipated. Third point, Jeremiah told Zedekiah to surrender to Babylon and to not listen to the words of the false prophets. Jeremiah put his life on the line and delivered God's message to Zedekiah. He told him to surrender to Babylon and serve the Babylonian king. He also told him not to believe the words of the false prophets. Jeremiah went on to tell the priests and the people about God's message. The message was to not listen to the false prophets and also to serve Babylon. Also, the Jerusalem temple would be destroyed, but it would be restored again. All the items of the Jerusalem temple would be taken to Babylon. Nothing would remain, but everything would be returned. Fourth point, Zedekiah raised the false prophet Hananiah as the keynote speaker during the international gathering. After Jeremiah's love and York performance, the assembly came to an end and each of the representatives from the five countries returned to their homes. However, Zedekiah opened another event for the people of South Judah. The spokesperson Zedekiah called was Hananiah. The location was the Jerusalem temple. The time was the fourth year of Zedekiah's reign, and the guests were the priests and all the people of South Judah. The theme of this assembly was that Zedekiah broke the yoke of the Babylonian king. At the time, Babylon had taken the first and second group of captives from South Judah, and the remaining people were living in fear. Amid such circumstances, Zedekiah called Hananiah to deliver God's message. The people were overjoyed when they heard Hananiah's message, but Jeremiah publicly proclaimed that Hananiah was a false prophet. Jeremiah furthermore explained the identity of a real prophet sent by God. Zedekiah was very angry at the words of Jeremiah and started to attack him with the people. Hananiah took Jeremiah's wooden yoke to show that they could break the yoke of Babylon. But they did not realize that if they did not carry the wooden yoke, they would have to suffer the iron yoke. Fifth point to Hananiah, who declared that their captivity in Babylon would be two years, Jeremiah told him that he would die in that year. Regarding the false prophets of South Judah, including Hananiah, God said the following. The first was that they would have to suffer the iron yoke, and that South Judah would most certainly fall in the hands of Babylon. The second was that Hananiah was to be severely punished by God. Hananiah died two months after God spoke these words. Despite Hananiah's death, the people of South Judah still did not turn to God. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones, the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. 
And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life. 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.